YouTube, Sweet Knives here, coming to you live. I got another cool knife I wanted to show you. This is a 945 Mini Osborne knife sent in uh, to the channel, and uh, it's been highly customized. Um, this particular one is highly customized, uh, but I do like I do like what was done to it. So I'll tell you a little bit about it. Um, these are really really cool knives but it's got titanium handles um, as you can see I'll, uh, I'll zoom in a little bit to those um, really nice um, titanium and then it's got a <laughs> check that out titanium Damascus type uh, clip deep carry that's pretty sweet it's got gold thumb studs and it's got the blue um, the blue uh, backspace um, barrel spacers thing I like about this knife, it's just smooth as butter. Look at this. That access lock, it almost flips it out. I mean, I'm not putting much pressure. Just boom, bada, boom, bada, bing. <laughs> Osborne. He made some really, really sweet stuff. I, I really like that, Osborne. Um, just everything that that guy came out with seems to really shine. Um, again, if you don't want to use the thumb stud, you can just pull down here and you can do it. Uh, blade steel here, S30V, one of the premium blade steels. You can't go wrong with it. It's uh, just an awesome blade steel. Now, I do want to show you another one that I have um, that is similar. This also, you might be thinking that's a regular 940. No, it's not. It's actually a mini. Um, that's a, a look there, the two minis next to each other. This one's the BK version, a um, little bit of dust been carrying that one a little bit um, but this one too flips really nice so there's a lot of variations the nice thing about the mini is it's a little bit smaller I probably should have brought out one of the full-size ones but um, it's a little bit smaller than the original so um, you know for whatever it's worth um, it is a little bit a little bit smaller so um, let me go see if I can find one of my um, one of my original size ones. So hang on, hang on tight. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. I couldn't quite find a complete original, but this is like an original, except it's the auto version, and the auto version is about the same size as the original. I don't know why it got so dusty, but um, that's a look at the about the same, you know about the size difference from the mini to the regular 940. You can see the handle's a little shorter, the blade's a little shorter. And I did put a deep carry clip on that one. But you can kind of get an idea that it is quite a bit smaller and then the difference in the frame is that open frame design. So um, again, same thing on this one, that's a mini and that's the regular except it's not quite the regular, but pretty close. So if you're thinking about the 940 Mini and you're not sure um, if you should get it, absolutely get it, guys. These are rock and roll knives. And then you can take it to the next level and uh, customize it. You can get different color barrel spacers. You can get different handles. You can get different thumb studs. Um, but in the end, I mean, these are so smooth with that access lock. I mean, it is... It is truly um, awesome. You know, I mean, they just, they flip out so easy. Look at that. Just bing, bing, bing. Let's see if I can do that with this one. I mean, that's why, that's what put Benchmade on the map was that access lock. I mean, just an unbelievable locking mechanism. Super secure, um, lasts a long time. Easy to deploy, one hand operation. Very nice. It's a little safer than putting your fingers in here if you have a liner and then pushing down I've never really never really had a problem with that but you know for some people they do have problems with that <laughs> uh, but here you know what we're going to do since my buddy sent this one in we are going to take it to the next level yeah so we're going to do some next level sharpening on it and uh, that's about what I'm about to do right now so I'm going to just kind of give you the 
I'm not going to go through the entire sharpening, but I'll give you some highlights along the way. You guys have seen a lot of my videos on sharpening. I'm not sure I need to go start to finish, but I'm going to sharpen it start to finish, but I'm only going to put in kind of the main parts just so we don't have to bore you with that. So hang tight, guys. That's coming up, and uh, appreciate you looking at this one. Have a great day. Hey, YouTube, check it out. I sharpened this up. Look at that. Look at that. Just mint edge. I uh, I was going to video the whole thing, but it just took so long. Um, I figured you guys didn't want to watch for an hour, but you can check out some of my other Wicked Edge sharpening videos. I just use the exact same sequence that I usually use, and uh, it got it razor sharp. I mean, this is just a flawless knife. Perfection to the max. Um, and it's, it's, I mean, it's hair popping. Hair popping sharp. I shouldn't even have to do this at this point, but... You know, there's people out there that are like, whoa, is it even, is it even sharp? I mean, it's, it's, it's sick sharp, but, uh, that's it guys. Thanks for checking it out. I'm going to send this one back to my buddy. I think he's going to like it a lot. Um, appreciate you watching. Hit that like button. Tons and tons and tons of more awesome videos. Um, look at that clip. I just love that. All in all, this is just a, a mint knife. I love it. So pick one up and uh, let me know what you guys think. Have a great day. Bye.